The death of seven men gunned down by police at Mansong Kwanta in the Ashanti region has dominated the headlines for a while. Now with victims' relatives accused and the police of claiming innocent lives. The deceased, however, left behind families who've lost their breadwinners. With Babang Kande and Razak Sule survived by as many as five children each. There's also a 70-year-old woman whose only son was among the seven and is hoping will be exonerated by the five-member committee set up to investigate the deaths. Love FM's Nanaya Ojima visited the families to know more about how they are coping a week after the demise of their loved ones. <laughs> It's been a week since police gunned down seven men suspected to be armed robbers at Manson Kwanta. Families of five of them identified as indigents of Zongo communities within the Asokori Mampong municipality are still in denial. Street protests which followed has since attracted top government officials, including Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, to the Asuasu community. Police insist they are robbers, but to the family, these are innocent breadwinners. Baban Kande, 45, perhaps the eldest among the dead, was a fashion designer and a ward executive for the MPP. He left behind five children. The eldest just completed junior high school and the youngest is a year and a half. Humu Abu Bakari was married to the deceased. <laughs> I am very disturbed, very, very disturbed. I don't know how I will take care of my children. They will have to live with my parents for some time. Razak Sule, 42, popularly known as Frenchman, a baker, was a father of five children. His wife, Mary Matthew, is yet to come to terms with his demise. I will never forget my husband. He will not even touch a stolen item. It's either contract killing or please did that deliberately. Tanku Mohammed, 30, was also a fashion designer. He was the only son of 70-year-old Hajja Aisha. He has never been troublesome. I am unable to eat ever since. Sometimes they have to add water to porridge before I can eat. Now I have developed a tummy condition. Bashiru Musa, 27, was a trained cadet cop who supported training of cadets at the senior high school and basic school level. He was engaged to be married soon, but will not live to see the day. Musa Ilyasu is his father. He was very hardworking and took care of the family. We were hoping he will be the most successful among the family. According to family, 32-year-old Abdul Hanan Bashel traded in anything depending on market trend. He was engaged to be married this year after the Eid. Families now fight from a united front, hoping their relatives will either be exonerated or proven guilty beyond doubt by an independent committee. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima reporting. We definitely will bring you updates on the committee set up to investigate this matter.